Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're going to work on for this is I want to show you guys a little bit of a triplet we call our binomial expansion, all right? So I'm just gonna kinda go through the long part and then I'll show you guys um, the basic part we did in a couple seconds. So the first thing I just wanna go through is if I have x plus one, no, sorry. If I have x plus y raised to the zero power, right? We know if we're going to multiply this out, anything raised to the zero power is just zero. equal to one, right? Anything raised to the zero power. Then if I have x plus one or x plus y raised to the first power, that means just x plus y multiplied by itself is just going to be x plus y, right? Then let's go and do x plus y squared. All right. Now when you look at x plus y squared, this should hopefully be something that you guys are fairly familiar with. We've been doing a lot of binomials and multiply them. This, without doing FOIL or, or box method, I can pretty well write this out as x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Right? Hopefully everybody should be fairly familiar with these multiplying binomials. You do it a lot. So we should be a little bit familiar with it. However, we're going to start getting into a little issue, though, when now I say x plus y cubed. OK, because now and you can kind of see the pattern I'm going to go in. It's going to start getting into some bigger numbers, right? So um, what I'm going to do is let's just kind of see exactly what this would look like. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys kind of the pattern that we're going to kind of work with. So if I was going to do x plus y cubed, what we really know is in reality, that is x plus y squared times another form of x plus y. So Kelly, what I'll do is I'll write out x plus y squared, which is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, and I'll multiply it by another x plus y. Yes? Yes. So therefore, x times x squared is x cubed. This is 2x squared y. This is y squared x. This is x squared y. This one is going to be 2xy <clears throat> squared. And this one is y cubed. And then we notice we do have some common terms here. All right, so now if I was going to write down my binomial expansion for my third term, I have x cubed um, plus 3x squared y plus 3 x y squared plus y cubed. OK? So what we're going to work on, we're going to work on a pattern. I'm going to kind of show you guys um, this in a bit. But what I want you guys to understand is there's a couple patterns maybe some of you guys might be able to see. One thing that we're working on is you can see that whatever my degree is, that's always going to be the degree of my first and last terms. Is that? Whatever the degree is of my expansion, that's always going to be the degree of my first and last terms. And the other thing, I didn't really write it out, because we don't really need to, because it's x squared. But you can see that my x, the degrees of my x's are now going down. They're decreasing, right? 3, 2, 1. And really, you could write an x to the 0 if you wanted to, right? But they're declining. And as the x's are declining, what's happening to the y's? The degrees of my y's are now increasing, right? So let's go ahead and uh, use this to see x plus y to the fourth. And let's just go and see now, how can we, what would our variables exactly be? Well, we kind of determined that our first term is going to be x to the fourth. And then what do you think the next x is going to be? x cubed. And therefore, that means it's going to be y to the first plus, then we could do x squared, and then y would be what? Two. y squared, right. Then we do plus x y cubed plus y to the fourth. Did you kind of see that pattern with the x's and the y's? Yeah. Now we need to go and figure out what our coefficients are, though. That's a little bit more of an issue. So I'm going to show you a nice little pattern with this, but I just want you guys to understand this expansion that we're using. Um, and I'll go and explain where I'm going to get these points in just a second. 
but yeah. so anyways there's going to be your expansion for the fourth one all right, but I want you guys just to understand, all we're simply doing is we keep on multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. But I'll be able to show you guys why this works here in just a second, why I got those numbers. And actually, I'll just tell you. Anyways, you know that the first term is always going to be 1. Then what I'm doing is just adding, the leading co I'm adding these coefficients to get to the next one. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then that one's going to be 1. OK? All, we're going to use it in Pascal's triangle. You'll see more of it in a second. So, yeah, we'll go back over.